Prince Harry was always less than Big Brother, Prince William, Royal Biographer says. Prince William and Prince Harry were brought up under the same spotlight, but their spare was always less than the future king. According to Royal Biographer, Prince William and Prince Harry were very close growing up, and the royal fans could attest to that. However, behind closed doors, one of them received more attention. In Channel 5's documentary entitled Prince Harry, The Troubled Prince, journalists and royal correspondents Richard Kay and Angela Levine spoke about the royal siblings. He was always thus and his brother, Levine said, referring to Prince Harry being a subordinate to Prince William. The late Queen Mother would always invite Prince William over for tea and talk to him about his future and not invite Prince Harry. Kate agreed and mentioned that Prince Charles and Princess Diana were concerned about making sure their boys shared things in their younger years. However, they couldn't control the way other people treated their two sons. Certainly more senior members of the royal family in private were saying, this is nonsense. William is the future. Our, all our efforts were going to educating William, Kay shared. It was William the Queen would invite for lessons in kingship when it was at Elton and she was at Windsor Castle, she continued. The Queen Mother always made sure Prince William was seated in a prominent seat next to her and Harry never was. Broadcaster Daisy McAndrew also spoke about Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship for her. The Duke and Sussex was in a very difficult position. On paper, Prince Harry's start in life was incredibly privileged and lucky, but in reality, being born as younger brother of the future King of England is a very difficult position to be born into, McAndrew said. They are known rather unkindly as a spare. Katie Nicole Royal correspondent at Vanity Fair agreed. According to her, the role of a spare was inherent in problems attached to it. In related news, Prince Harry joked about aging during a video call with the young leaders from the Queen's Commonwealth Trust on July 1st. They were talking about racial biases and the differences that the next generation could do about the issue when they took suddenly that I'm aging, I'm 35. His wife Marco quickly reacted by saying, that's not aging, before laughing.